This is a video about price calculation. How do we transfer information from Revit to, uh, for example, Sigma? I've got this drawing over here of a, a little holiday house. And uh, if I just uh, mark the roof and uh, hide it for a moment, you will see that it, it is about a, a small house uh, with two floors. Uh, it's built on a slab. It's got some uh, walls. If I click on the walls, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the wall information here is a basic wall there. It's also a uh, basic wall down in the ground floor. And uh, the outer walls, I haven't decided what they're going to be yet, but uh, we're in the outline phase, so I can choose whatever I want to. But the idea behind this is to actually go in and do alternative calculations with different materials. If I just take a, a zoom around this house, uh, you'll be able to see that um, it has a sort of garage. Uh, and the first thing one does when one is to do a calculation of such a house with, with Revit is to, to make a price book. And that's what I will do. In order to make a price book, I open my Sigma. I go into File and New. And I want to make my own price book, so I change the uh, the radio button from calculation to library and click next. I give it a name. I'm going to call this my new price book and click next and finish. And we can see now the green indicates that this is a library uh, file and I will use VNS prices as a basis because the structure in VNS is pretty good and uh, I can use that as a basis so I'm going to open this one up and you can see it's open and I'm going to use the same structure as is in the uh, in the price book itself uh, I could copy uh, each of these items over but uh, copying from here to, to here does give a few problems uh, because you have to, um, you can't copy uh, Control C and C Control V here automatically. So actually, I think I'm going to write them in myself. Uh, I'm going to write this, this, and this. I'll leave the rest to for you to do. And I'm also going to write them in English. Remember, when you're writing these in, and once you've written them in here you must click enter in order to get them over here. So I'm going to click enter and you can see it comes over here. And I can use the arrow down to get the next field in which is primary building components. As you can see I've written the first three in here. I will not work with the rest here because otherwise this video is going to take a long time. So having done this I can mark my primary building components and look at my uh, rivet and in the primary building construction uh, components here, I have got uh, the strip foundation as my main uh, primary building component. In other words, foundations. So I'm going to go back to my Sigma, and I'm going to look into the Danish version of this. The price book, unfortunately, is in Danish. And if I look under building basis and foundations, I can find a foundation that looks like my foundation. And then I can adjust it suitably in, 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 in my own uh, library. I'm going to break down these foundations into foundations themselves, like this, and then into the, uh, if I go on here, I've got the, the terrain slab. So I'm going to use these two items as my subcomponents. As you can see, as you can see here, I've written under basis, strip foundations and terrain slab. There will, of course, also be internal foundations, but I'm not going to work with that just to keep the um, video simple. Remember to press page down or enter to accept so that this goes over there. I've opened the foundations section of the VNS price books and I've found a suitable foundation that looks like the one I've got. Um, and it is this one here, I th no, uh, rather this, this one here, which is foundations of concrete uh, with uh, lightweight con con concrete blocks 
and I'm going to just pull this over into this area here so that my strip foundations consist of these and while I'm at it I can, I can just as well uh, uh, translate this uh, to English um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this, this text here and I'm going to translate it to English and if all the international students do that before long you'll be able to swap uh, these uh, own uh, libraries with each other so you have uh, a whole library in English so you're going to have to be patient and use your uh, dictionaries for, for a little bit I've translated what I had here before into this and I've maintained the number and I'm clicking enter now so that it comes over into the um, area over here I've opened the section in the Danish uh, price book terrain deck which means uh, ground slab or terrain slab and I've chosen this one as my uh, element so I'm going to move over here mark this and I'm going to pull this in to here and I will now translate this into English and here you can see the result and my next task would be to mark that and translate all these into English too here you can see the result of my translation of the subpoints. So this is the way to do it. You simply find uh, something that looks like your construction in your particular drawing and you transfer it from the VNS price book to your own library and you uh, translate it and uh, by the end of the course, the construction architects course, you should have a, a pretty good library of your, uh, which you can use for different semesters. For the primary building components, I'm going to find some outer walls and inner walls that corresponds to my house. If I just take the roof off here again, uh, you can see that I have to find myself an outer wall and I have to find myself some inner walls. The inner walls and the ground floor are the same as the ones on the, uh, the or rather the inner walls on the first floor are the same, the same as the ones on the ground floor as you can see here so I'll have to find one element that fits that in the VNS price book the slab, the ground slab is different from the, the slab on the first floor uh, so I can uh, choose two different uh, elements in VNS to one to represent the ground floor and one to represent the first floor slab and in that way I find the different elements in the VNS price book and bring it in to my own library here and that is what I will do now and I will uh, continue to translate as I do these things I've opened up the outer wall section now under the primary building components in Danish uh, price book and I'm going to toggle down uh, this way to the uh, cavity wall and the one I'm looking at here uh, this one I can pull in uh, into my primary components so I'm just going to pull that in there and as you can see now it's in there I can uh, click on this and I can translate this into uh, English as you can see I've already translated it and if I click on this cavity wall here it consists of these items which also need to be translated and I'll do that next here is the translation of the components of my cavity wall. Notice that some of the components are measured in square meters, like the outer wall is measured in square meters. This is one square meter. Then there's one square meter of um, brickwork uh, at the uh, back wall, or this is an addition for the soft molded brickwork at the back wall. And then there's a lintel, which is only 14 centimeters, uh, inner leaf lintel and uh, also cold bridging which is only uh, 0 0.5 uh, uh, running meters these two are just an average of that wall so VNS uses an average um, pricing uh, they look at some brickwork and they see how many uh, windows there are in average and they actually put the windows the lintel for the windows and the cold bridging around the windows uh, into this calculation now I think that these items the, they should be moved into the actual components that comprise the uh, windows so we will we'll be moving them once we have found a window to fit our uh, house which is we have several windows we have some windows here and here 
and we have these windows here too, which have lintels on top of them. This one doesn't, perhaps, but uh, and neither, neither does this. But these certainly do have lintels, and they certainly do have coal bridging around them, as do these. So we'll be moving these to the windows once we have found a window to fit. In order to do that, I've opened up completions in the Danish price book and we're looking for inner wall completions and this is where we find our windows and our outer doors. I've found a window here and I'm going to uh, pull it into completions now. So I just pull on it and drop it at completions. And now you'll be, see, you'll be able to see the window is there and if I mark completions, you can see the window here, which I will now translate into uh, English. And here you have the English translation. And of course I pressed enter to get it over to this side here. I will now click on my uh, cavity wall and I will move uh, the lintel, the two lintels from the uh, facade brick and from the inner leaf and also the cold bridging over to um, the window I have chosen here. So I mark it and I move it. And I do the same one with this one. Move it over to the, uh, the window. As you can see, they come over here straight away. Take the cold bridge, move it over here. And if I click on this now, you can see this comprises of just not only the window, but also of the lintels on the uh, front facade and on the inner leaf, and also of the cold bridging. The next thing is to change these numbers because now I have the size of the window. It's 1.2 times 1.2. I can put it in the precise measurement of the lintel and the lintel over this one will be 1.2 as well as this one that will also be 1.2 and the cold bridge will be four times this figure, four times 1.2 which is 4.8. To do that I will click on here and this is my building component. I have to click onto this little file here and I can change the number for the uh, lintel. Unfortunately, I have to stay in Danish in this section here, but I'm going to change this to 1.2. That is the lintel over the front wall or the facade wall, 1.2 over the back wall, and 4.8, 4.8 over uh, the cold bridging all the way around the window. So every time we calculate one of these windows, we get the lintel on top of it and the uh, cold bridging around it. Click OK. And as you can see, those numbers are now changed in here. And you can see the price has now also changed from what it was previously. Because if I look at the previous price here, it was uh, this price here. Now these lintels and the coal bridging has come in, so the, the, the cost has gone up for this particular window. But if I look here, I can see that this item belongs to uh, 31, whereas this one still the lintel belongs to 21, which is uh, to do with the brickwork. So when we're actually planning it, this, this information will go over to the brickwork, as will this, and also this. So these last three items are going to be done by the bricklayer, whilst this one is going to be done by the carpenter. And the SFP system of 31 and uh, 21 kind of gives us an indication to, to which, uh, which uh, uh, professional ID. We also have a professional ID here that indicates that uh, these are different uh, professionals doing it. You can see this one has uh, a different number uh, as compared to the ones down here. You will also notice now that there is no lintels in the actual cavity wall. That has also become cheap.